Some things don't need prayers. God will not violate people's choices because of you. Leave them alone. Listen, I want you to pay attention. Some things don't need prayers. God is not going to violate people's choices because of you. Some of you, I see a lot of beautiful women in church. You are praying a man into your life by force. You go with a man's picture, you go with a man's name, you are doing rabba soko, 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 you are going to Shiloh, you are killing yourself. No, you are not going to bend God's hand if the man does not choose you, if the man does not love you. That your prayer will not work. Stop wasting your time. God has given us decisions, minds to choose the things that we want. So even if you pray from today to tomorrow and that man is not yours, God will not give him to you. You know why? Because there are some people that also want you and are praying for you and they cannot get you. So if God wants to be answering all those your hanky-panky prayers, you are going to end up with a man that you don't even love. The same way you want the man to end up with you that he does not love. This is becoming so worrisome. Very, very worrisome of a lot of women. You guys are getting too desperate. You can't pray a man into your life. I don't know the pastor or the prophet or the preacher that is telling you that you can pray a man into your life. That's a blunt and lie. A man will choose you the same way you are going to choose a man. You don't pray people into your life. You can pray for people that are already in your life. Stop that rubbish that you are trying to bend God's hand to satisfy your selfish desire. All those men that you prayed for, if God give you those men now, you cannot even stay with them. Sometimes God does not even answer those your rubbish prayers because those men are not meant for you. You just want them because of your selfish desires, benefits, sex, and rubbish. Because some of you women who go to churches and pray for a particular man, those men are not your husband. You are just there. Maybe they might have money. Selfish gold diggers called rubbish. God will not change people's choices to please you. No. When God gave Eve to Adam. And Adam ate the fruit in the garden of Eden. He came and told God, God, it is the woman that you gave me that made me to disrespect you and disobey you. God now said, okay, Adam, Adam, you shall choose the woman you want to marry. Eve, you shall choose the man you want. So God has given us power for us to make our choices. So what is your noise? What is your prayer? Give me my man. Send me my man. Collect my man. Throw the man. Father the man. It's not going to work. Stop wasting your time, your energy, your resources, your finance, and go and develop yourself. When you develop yourself and you are good enough, you will not have to pray for a man to choose you. They will find you.